I'm here in Medjugorje at Beirut restaurant and I'm with, what's your name? Gilda Jabour. And where are you from? I am from uh, Lebanon, from uh, Arde next to Zgarta. And is it far away from Saint Chabel, the famous Lebanese saint? Uh, from Saint Chabel, uh, one hour. One, one hour. Yes. And you said you come often to Medjugorje? A few times every year, uh, oh. once or two per year. Or why? twice per year. Explain why. Because I love too much Medjugorje. I love Mary. It's a land of peace. Mm -hmm. It's a land of confession mm -hmm. and conversion. And what would you tell people, you know? Con con confession is so important here. A lot of people are scared to go to confession. No, it's not scary. I like to go to confession because it wash, it wash my heart yes. and my brain. Yes, you shine. You have been to confession. <laughs> <laughs> you see? And you pray the rosary as well? I pray the rosary as well, yes. Why? Um, because uh, the rosary guide me to Jesus, to Jesus' life. Mm -hmm. And you know a lot of young people, you, me, in Europe or in America, they are not Catholic. You are so convinced. Why are you so convinced you pray the rosary, you go to confession? I hope that they pray the rosary and do their their uh, confession and conversion together. Yeah. But, but why are you Catholic? Why are you so convinced of all this? What? Why are you so convinced of being a Catholic and go to confession and praying the rosary? What uh, happened in your life that you are so convinced? Uh, I am a Catholic from Lebanon from the beginning of my life. I was a practicant, but uh, in Medjugorje, Medjugorje taught me how to pray and taught me how can I go uh, by praying to Jesus. Jesus' life to know how Jesus was suffering and uh, uh, he was doing everything for us, for our well. But and can you describe the process? What did change in your prayer life? What happened here in Medjugorje? Uh, you said you, now you know how to pray. By prayer, I live my peace. I am peaceful. Yeah. Yes. So you pray from the heart, as our lady said? From right? the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I see it, I see it. And you have a favorite place in Medjugorje? This is my favorite. Medjugorje, all Medjugorje is my favorite place, but I like the uh, the cross, the candle. Mm -hmm. Ah, by the candle, yeah. Yes. Jesus, I call it again. Jesus and the candles. Yes, I like this place so much. It was very peaceful, no? Very peaceful, really. And what would you tell people? Why come to Medjugorje one day? Come to Medjugorje to see the peace, mm -hmm. to know how to live in peace. Mm -hmm. This is the land of peace. This is the... Uh, the place that uh, you can be uh, very uh, peaceful and uh, you can... This is the sky on earth, the heaven. Heaven on earth. The heaven right? on earth. Thank you so much for that Thanks beautiful for you. Thank you. And our, our friend from, um, from Lebanon wants to explain a bit the, this favorite saint, not the favorite, but the biggest saint of Lebanon, which is Saint Chabel. Can you explain a bit for the people what, who is Saint Chabel? What did he do? Saint Charbel is a man from uh, North Lebanon, from a country, Akafra, from mm -hmm. a village, little village. In, it is the highest village in our Lebanon. Mm -hmm. um, he did a uh, few miracles for all people, even Christian, Muslims, for all people. Per, per month, more than 10 miracles. Wow. Yes. Can you describe one, what, what he did, for example? Uh, people who uh, has okay. cancer, operations, mm -hmm. he helps them. Wow, unbelievable. Yes. And you, um, sorry, I'm very curious, but you always stayed Catholic, or like me, I went away in the world, discotheque, whatever, you know, but not going we to went, church. We live our life, but we return back. You turn back. Yes. Did you have a special experience? That's why you turned back. Was it Medjugorje or another place? Medjugorje you... uh, let me return back always. Always. That's a fruit from that place. Yes, it's a big. It's a very nice fruit yes. from Medjugorje. And and can you describe a bit the fruit? What it is? What it was for you? You said your prayer life changed. Um, Medjugorje didn't change my life because I am Christian from the beginning and I am practicing. But uh, it helps me. Mm -hmm to continue in changing my life to better. Deeper, the face deeper yes. and better. Yes. The same with me. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks for you.